Hey guys, it's Sky. So welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I have not uploaded in a little bit. I've just been really sick. Remember how I said I was like sick t two months ago? I'm still sick, but I'm getting better. So now I'm able to upload and record more videos. So my hair is not done and I'm sorry if you can hear my mom talking in the background. Um, my hair is not done, but I'm going to show you guys how to do a slick back ponytail on 4C hair. Now a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy, well kind of controversy, on my last 4C hair tutorial on my top knot burn that I did. And thank you guys for over a million views on that in literally a couple days. Um, but I clearly stated in the video that my hair is 4C, yes. But did I blow dry? Yes, that's literally what I said. Um, and I don't know if you guys maybe didn't pay attention to when I said that. But I did blow dry my hair, and my hair is still blow dried now. Um, but is my hair texture 4C? Yes, it is. Um, and it has always been 4C. And it's not 4A, it's not 4B, it is 4C. But anyways, if you want to see how I do my slick back ponytail, um, I'm literally about to go out the house, so I was like, I might as well just record this while I'm going to do it anyways. If you want to see me do this tutorial, then keep on watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And make sure you guys get my book, Reach for the Sky, out now. You can get it on Amazon, you can go to Barnes & Noble, Barnes & Noble's online, Target, Target in stores, literally everywhere. And tag me in pictures if you bought my book. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so my hair is a mess right now. Um, this is like an old bun that I have, so I'm going to take my hair out. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is a big rubber band, like one of those really big ones you can get from CVS or whatever store. Um, what else? You would need a lot of bobby pins, I, at least I do. You need gel, which I'm gonna show you the gel I use for my hair because a lot of gels don't work for 4C hair or we feel like it um, flakes up really bad, like really, really bad. And that is no fun at all. I hate when my hair gets all flaky. Um, so I'm going to, I didn't realize I put this many pins in my hair. But I know I said that in the last tutorial that I was gonna try to make it short. And you guys, you guys are like, oh, well the video was like 20 minutes long. And I'm like, I know, but it doesn't actually take me 20 minutes to do the hairstyle. It's a very short, easy going hairstyle. And like I said, I'm sorry if you can hear talking in the back because that is my mom. Um, okay, so this is my hair. And I do this hairstyle with my, oop, another pin, see? I told you guys in the last tutorial that my hair just swallows up pins and I cannot find them. My hair is dirty. So I do this hairstyle and my hair is dirty because it's just really easy. And so what if I put more product in it? Um, because it's dirty, I have to wash it anyways. So, the first thing I use is this 100% pure natural grapeseed oil. You can get this, I don't know if you can see it, but you can get this from Amazon. You can get this wherever you want to get it. Um, you don't need to use grapeseed oil. You can use any natural oil. So, I'm going to apply this all over my hair and really the ends too because gel tends to dry your hair out. Mm, my hair is looks a mess because like I said it is dirty. I have not combed it in a really long time Like over a week just because I don't like to comb my hair When I'm not doing anything I like to just let it be so just Putting all the hair product there and I'm gonna do it one more time on this side just to make sure every little piece is covered and good. So now I already did my middle part, which does not have to be perfect, literally does not have to be perfect. And I'm gonna use a brush that looks like this to smooth my hair down. And the rubber band I'll be using is one of these really long ones, but I loop it and go like this to make it a bigger regular size rubber band. So, okay, let me got, let me put y'all on real quick. So I discovered this stuff when one of my hairstylists who usually does my hair for events used this um, like slaking gel for my hair. 
and it's called Elasta. I think it's Elasta QP. Um, bonus 50% more glaze conditioning shining gel. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Hold on, let's let focus. This stuff literally is the best. And I say that because it looks very like if it would get chunky. I don't know if you guys can try to make you guys see it. You see, it looks like as if it would get chunky and stuck in your hair and you're just going to have to wash it after. No. This stuff, literally, you can put as much as you need on it. And over time, this dissolves. It turns, it dissolves into like a oil, but it still holds your sleek ponytail. Don't know how, but basically, it kind of like molds your hair to how you want it and sleek it down. And then when the gel or whatever dissolves it's still there another thing that i use is this has been around for a while with the ampro pro style gel um i've been using this i get it from and this is the super hold one i usually don't use this one um when i'm doing my sleek ponytail i usually just do this one but because my hair is so dirty i do need an extra hold so what i'm gonna do is put some of it on i already have my middle part I'm just gonna place it on my hair and I'm gonna use the QP gel and take a big scoop. This is like really thick and jelly and apply it. So obviously it looks white and disgusting, which is gonna be fine. And also it's cause my hair is dirtier than it should be. Well not should be, but it's just dirty. So I start to mold the shape. This, put the rest here. I like to put a lot of this stuff because it just holds nicely. And you wanna make sure you get the back, the middle of your head. So I'll brush it. That. And I'm sorry if I'm looking this way because I'm looking into my vanity mirror. This side is always harder for me to brush just because it's my left side and I'm not left handed. So I'm going to put as much gel. That. Ugh. My hair is so thick so sometimes it's nerve wracking like brushing it. Mind you, I don't do this hairstyle all the time, so I don't want to hear, oh, you're going to rip your edges or tear your hair out. I don't do this hairstyle all the time. Um, I do this hairstyle when my hair is blow-dried and it gets dirty, and I don't blow-dry my hair that often. Mm, and going forward in 2020, I'm not going to add any more heat to it, so no more blow-drying or anything for me. So, it literally looks wet. Looks wet. And you're just gonna keep brushing until you're satisfied to your liking. And I do more brushing like while it's in a ponytail. So I think I got it as smooth as I can for right now. So I'm push it down. And I'm not done putting more gel or anything. I'm just for now. It looks so weird. So I'm gonna take that big rubber band, I'm gonna twist it like this, and then grab it and pull. And then I'm going to, now this is the most important part, getting it really slick down. So I think this is pretty good, but I like to just, hold on, make sure I don't feel that. Sorry, I'm like really concentrated. So I'm gonna pull and slick, pull and slick. And like I said, I'm not done applying more gel. I'm just done until I get it in the ponytail. Now, this is the hardest part because my hair is so thick. So, this, pull it, and then you're gonna do a ponytail. I'm gonna try to do it as quick as I can because my hair is so thick that I can't always get it fully and then I'm going to push it up like this 
Like if I'm gonna put it in a pony, a bun or a ponytail loop, make sure it stays in a bun until it looks like I don't know if you can see it. I don't even know if it looks somewhat good, but I'll fix it in a minute. Then I'm gonna put some pins to hold it because just the ponytail loop is not gonna keep it still. Um, it's not fully secure, so I'm pinning it up. That and any loose hairs that are sticking out because you can't fully push it through because if not, it's gonna just come out like a ponytail. So I'm gonna push that up. And I'm using as many pins as I like, like a lot, just because this pin or whatever I just put in my head hurts. Where is it at? Um, I don't know. That's fine, that's whatever. Um so I'm just putting a lot of pins because I don't need my hair coming out or anything. So now that it's molded, which I think it's pretty good. Something in here. I think I put a pin too far up. And now, I don't even know where it is. Now I'm just gonna take more of my gel, the clear one, and put it all over. And sometimes in the back, you wanna make sure you get it all over, like even towards the back. And I use, ooh, about the brown. And if you feel like it can get tighter, what I do is I smooth it, like the back for instance, like back here, I smooth it down. And then I take one of the clothes pins, that, and pin it where, oops, pin it where it needs to be. There we go. So, now I'm going to brush it some more to really smooth it out and get it how I want to get it. And uh, I usually put more on the sides because that's where my hair like flakes up and always gets really messy quick, is the sides. Especially like this part here. Um, and if you want, you could put a pin, I might do it. To smooth it down just a little bit extra. And now I'm doing my last layer. Now this might seem like a lot, but like I said, the clear gel dissolves. So it turns into like a oil base. So it's not gonna stay this hard or look this hard later. But I did apply the brown gel just so something can stay, like something else can stay. Um, and yeah, this is my last coat and I just put this all over and then I put a little bit of oil so my hair is somewhat getting oiled up because gel is very drying to the point where my hair looks wet put it all over and now to keep this hold what I do is put a scarf on and I use a scarf I don't really care about because you can get oil and all this mess in it so I like to put it on my hair and wrap it up. See the oil is already spilling through. And I like to keep this on for as long as I can or right until right before I leave the house. So I'm gonna keep this on and I will come back to you guys when my hair is fully set and done. But you see just a little piece hanging out. And now I'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like. I'm gonna put my scarf on back on after this, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is what my hair looks like. So the pin is falling out. I tell you, my hair swallows pins and like spits them out. And this is it in the back. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I usually don't do like any baby hairs or anything, um, but I do see a little bit, it always tends to come out more on this side, but I'm going to add just a little bit more gel, 
and then place my scarf on. But basically this tutorial is done, so if you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, let me know, and I will film more videos for you guys. Um, my camera's about to die, um, so I'm trying to wrap this up. But this is pretty simple, and let me know if you guys try it, and tag me in your videos. Anyways, see you guys next week. Bye!